Señor, pase usted para acá. Venga para acá. No, 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 no. El de las cosas. Venga, señor. Para que se puedan quitar sus cosas. Gracias. Cuando le dé una orden, señor, usted tiene que... Me estoy poniendo la linterna en la cara. ¿Cómo no voy a estar hablando contigo? Can you do me a favor? Can you go over here to the, to the other side or the front of that? Please? So as you guys can see, we've got a large group here. I'll show you where they crossed from. If you guys want to see. It's the same area where they left the gate open. So. You're not. So what are you working for, sir? Okay. Oh, never mind. I've been covering you next for a while. I, 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 I could understand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I know what I'm sorry. I could understand. I don't mind. I'm going to move my truck. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it. Sir. Move your truck. So the gate was left open again, and no, he's good. Yeah, Anthony's good. No, we had some, we had some people that showed up here that. Uh, are not the usual responders because it was a larger group so they weren't familiar with us and so they were trying to figure out who we were um, and of course some of it has to do with the bad press we've been getting so either way we're not going to stop showing you guys the truth um, you know we've got another group here they, they plainly ran across the gate those drones that we were looking at earlier they were definitely involved in this and I'm pretty sure that we have more activity on the other side of the bowl because that's what the drones were watching. So, um, you know, it's it's definitely definitely something that, uh, you know, it, it's what happens. But again, you guys can see, I'm trying to zoom in here a little bit for you. I'm still learning how to use this phone. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me zoom that in, Anthony. I'll do that. All right. So you just touch at the same time with both? There it is. There you go. A little better picture. Kids, women, yeah, if this is the first time you guys are watching this video, um, <clears throat> this is Jim. This is an every night occurrence down here in Sunland Park in the El Paso sector. Um, we always have time, uh, you know, we, we don't have a lot of time in between uh, groups of people that come through. 
Uh, but they're coming in from all 50 different countries. They're coming in from everywhere. This is an invasion. It is something that's going to affect you guys are everybody. We're going to have to go out. I'm going to go to the railroad police. Okay. We're going to have to go on the other side of the street. All right. Push the picture. All the way to the other side. All the way to the other side. So our friends from the railroad are... Gotcha. So, so here's the thing, guys. They uh, so just so you know, me and Anthony were up by the track, and what they're trying to say now is that we uh, we uh, can't film the the group because they had they called the uh, railroad police. They don't want us showing you guys these pictures. Okay, Union Pacific, the same guys that basically removed us for trespassing from Camp Liberty, the ones that favor the uh, the uh, anti-border people here in the town. And uh, it's okay for the illegals to trespass, but when you got people over here doing what, you're, what we're doing, they're trying to stop us from showing you guys the truth. So you just witnessed it. This is the problem we've been having tonight. This is why we stay to the sector we're in, in an area we're in, because they don't want you guys to see the truth. They're doing everything they can possibly do to stop us. So, so you can see what we're doing. So you can see what we're dealing with. It's unreal. So, as we're out here, guys, reporting to you guys what's happening. Uh, BNSF, the same people. Oh, that's ABC Seven. So BNSF sent uh, the same They're making railroad, ABC move too. The same railroad so. that donates to Veronica Escobar. And by the way, this this is the Union Pacific that donates. We sh we posted er earlier that they uh, donate to the uh, Veronica Escobar and to the governor, and they're all in that same bandwagon here. So. As, as you guys realized earlier when we first arrived on the scene, Border Patrol agents did not know who I was when we first got here. After he realized we were with Border Network News, he apologized and, and I, he didn't have to apologize. Yeah, the, I, I, the Border Patrol I, agent apologized. I, he didn't he didn't realize who we were at first, but but the railroad cop showed up and he's he's the same guy that they're trying to keep us away from the tracks because they figure if they can keep us away from the tracks, we won't show you guys the truth. So we're sitting here in the middle of the road, me and Anthony, and we're still filming, and we don't really care because we're going to let you guys see what's going on. The public has a right to know. And just because it's El Paso, just because it's here, doesn't mean that you guys don't have a right to see the truth. So BNSF, the railroad company. Actually, this is Union Union Pacific. No, it's BNSF. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's BNSF. BNSF okay, police. so it's BNSF police. It's the other one. Okay, so now we're dealing with Union Pacific and BNSF. That donates to Veronica Escobar sent a police officer pretty much to uh, yell at us, telling us to get off of the property. He claims that up to 50 feet away from the train track is still. Now, I'm not sure how true that is because clearly uh, I am standing on the side of the road way more than 50 feet away from the actual train track now at this point. This is way more than 50 feet that we were from the actual train track. So it's like funny how now they got the Border Patrol, they got the police department, but they're calling in the railroad police security people themselves. Um, it tells you everything you need to know right there, guys. This is an all-in-out people trying to block and trying to uh, not tell you the truth. You guys saw the drones that were flying. Those drones were flying right before this happened. They're now starting to go behind Monument One, okay, sneaking through the gate that's being left open, okay? And the bottom line is, is that, you know, we're in a situation where um, this is serious stuff. You guys need to see these groups and who's in them. Um, just to give you guys the basic rundown here, we need to change the laws. We need to get new asylum laws. We need to build some wall. And the only way this is going to get done is through we the people. It's not going to happen through your Congress. Your Congress just continues to debate a lot of inaction. Um, you know, President Trump has made it clear that this is a national emergency. It's a human crisis on many levels. 
we have human trafficking, child trafficking, sex trafficking. Um, you know, the children have been monetized. We've placed monetary value on the children because they're renting them. They're, they're recycling them. And until that stops and until the law stops, okay, then it's going to stay the same. Nothing's going to change. Without law changes, you're absolutely going to have no change in what's happening. And this is why we need to show you guys the truth, because these anti-border Democrats are not only selling out our national security, but they're also putting our country at risk. And they don't care about our infrastructure. They don't care uh, about our economy. They don't care what happens. All they care about is their power, their future voters. They don't care about the victims in this. They won't bring the National Guard down here, even in a civilian role, to help out. Um, and the people just continue to come in, and Border Patrol just continues to take them to an overcrowded processing center. And meanwhile, they're allowed to go free to walk around in the streets. And, and, and this is the sad reality, guys. This is what we've come to. They've even got the regular news. Look at this, guys. They've got ABC7 standing on the other side of the street because they don't even want the mainstream media to get a good picture of what's going on here because they don't want people thinking that 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 you could potentially walk walk around in El Paso and a group of 100 illegals or 150 illegals could possibly um, encounter you okay so the bottom line here guys is that uh, uh, you know, they, they're hiding this. Too much is getting out about the real nature of the crisis here. The railroad cops have no business being here in a situation like this. You guys do understand that, right? Okay, they're coming down here specifically to screw with the media and people like us that are showing you real pictures of what's actually happening here in the United States of America. Not in Mexico, right here in the United States. And it looks like we also might have a what is that we're looking at, Anthony? We got a medical issue here, too? Oh, yeah. Uh, so as they're coming in, guys, they're being put on your tax dollar real quick. People are coming in sick, unvetted. And guess who's going to be paying for that? Your taxes. Your taxes. All of these people on your tax dollars, they're coming here. See That's the other thing that happens, guys. One of the reasons in the past videos you saw us yelling alto and trying to get people to stop isn't because we want to chase people through the hills. It's because these rocks are dangerous. And what happens is a lot of times these people will have these kids. And like I said, a lot of times they don't even belong to them. They'll run through the hills and the rocks here. And they actually end up in a situation where um, it's dangerous because they fall down the hill. They slide down the hill. This is dangerous terrain. Or they run out in front of a car because they don't know where they're at. And they get hit and killed. I mean, this is what happens. And so... Um, you know, when you try to jump in here and help uh, an overstrained border patrol, and when I say overstrained, I want to show you guys something. Out of all the flashing lights that you guys see right here, how many of those are border patrol? Guess what? There's one border patrol truck, and that's it right there. We've told you guys in the previous video, there aren't very many border patrol out for the last two days. We don't know why. Some people are saying because they're sick. Some people are giving other reasons for it, but... The fact of the matter is, is that, you know, we're here, we're down here, and, and like I said, these railroad police, they don't even want the mainstream news to show you what's going on. So, they're trespassing, these are people that, uh, you know, they, they, again, whatever law they can come up with, uh, when the one Border Patrol agent who was here today showed up and recognized who we were, he immediately, you know, obviously was nice and kind. But these other people, you got one, two three four five that are not border patrol and what are they doing okay they're assisting where there's no border patrol now we know these where these people came from they came from the gate right over here that was left wide open by somebody okay why do they leave a gate wide open over here okay when over here you have when, one border when the patrol. Mainstream media comes out to cover you, covering the story. Yes, you, you know, know you're, you're doing, doing something, something right, right, baby. <laughs> okay, so, but at the end of the day, where's the mainstream media at? They asked. They, by the way, mainstream media. They asked your guys to leave with us because they especially brought in the railroad police today. Had them come across the street. Oh, Notice us off. exactly. They're chasing you off too because they don't want people seeing these groups. Look at this. You got one border patrol here, guys. Look at one. Okay, 
Over at Monument One, there's one truck over there, and over at the bowl, the bowl's wide open. We just showed our viewers a little a minute ago here the drones that were flying over the hill right before this happened. Okay? And one of the things that we've been discussing on our live videos is who's leaving the gate open over here. This gate right behind me over here is wide open for anybody to cross behind the monument. The coyotes can drop them off, the river's low, and they can just literally zoom right across out into Pisano. And here you go. Now what happens is the people run up the hill. They don't know where they're going or they get hit by a car. And uh, one of them got hurt. Okay, you guys saw that. One of them needs medical attention. That's one of the reasons people try to stop them before they start running out into the middle of the street or start running up, up the side of the hill. And so, um, you know, and then, and then you, got the, uh, you got the border patrol, one guy here, and the rest is what? You got the railroad police who says his biggest concern is, is don't get any pictures. You're trespassing. But isn't this an issue of trespassing right here? Having illegals that, that illegally cross the border? No matter whether you call this a humanitarian crisis or whether you call this a human trafficking, a sex trafficking, a child trafficking crisis, no matter how you report this, this report that I'm giving you guys is the truth. And so until we get law changes, until we actually get some reform, until we actually um, we get some help, down here with the border and with the laws, nothing's going to change. So I'm not going to keep you guys on here much longer. I just wanted to show you, look, they're having to do the news on the other side of the road. It's ridiculous. Again, why? Because the Union Pacific donating a Veronica Escobar supporting railroads. Oh, look, we got crossers, guys. Hey, another one. Guess what, guys? We got more action. And again, when you only have one border patrol and the railroad doesn't want you trespassing, sometimes you get lucky and find out when the gates open, you still get another group. Check it out. This is what we're talking about, but it's not a crisis. It's nothing for people to be concerned about because we're an evil militia. We're a bunch of vigilantes that are out here, you know, doing our thing, showing you the truth. Here you go, guys. Check it out. You're watching this live. Here they come. These guys all wet. These guys are wet. They just came out of the three, river. Three grown men. Look. But it's not an invasion, is it? This is crazy. Look at this, guys. Literally just walking on this in. ain't even a joke. Not even a joke. They're literally just walking on in. And there's nobody out here protecting your border. Can't see some it. Just, some just took off running. Look, guys. They're now running. They're, they're now running. Look at. Look, they're, they're now running, running, guys. The see them running? They're, they're now running. running look. See these? These are these are all people coming in that just came in. There's groups of them. Look. Look, guys. And then we've got some kids. Like I said, the sad thing here is, well, they're already stopped. They they were going to run into a mass over here, but there's no border patrol. So you can see this. You guys see this? This is an everyday occurrence, guys. We, you can't make this up. And again, one thing I want to point out to you guys is there is absolutely no border patrol. There's one border patrol agent here. So guess who's got this group rounded up? Guess who stopped this group? You're going to have to call the... Uh... See, they don't want us to have them sit down, so we're just going to let them keep wandering. Um, so they're still walking up. They're the still way. walking up the road. There's no border yeah, patrol. Only one okay. This is why you have people like the Guardian Patriots. This is why volunteers are down here on the border, trying to help the border patrol. But this is what the border. But this is what Veronica Escobar wants. This is what the governor of New Mexico wants. She wants this and this because if we tell them to stop then we're in trouble, okay? If we tell them to stop, we're kidnapping. If we tell them to stop, we're armed vigilantes, okay? We are the evil Americans that are down here on the border trying to assist the border patrol when you have one border patrol. Oh, he's gone. Now we have no border patrol. The mainstream media is here. 
they can't even help, okay? And how many people are walking down the road? There's probably what? 50 people walking down the road, guys? It's not even a joke. You can't make this up. Okay, look it. Let's put some light on the situation. All those people that, where are they going? They don't even know where they're going. They've been told by coyotes to walk through the fence and they've been told marching orders. And where Border Patrol wants us to step in right now would be to stop these people, slow them down, halt them, but we can't do that because the following reasons I just told you, okay? So we tried to make them stop. We yelled some verbal commands. We can't physically detain them. So here we are walking. There they are walking down the street. And uh, the end of the day, this is what's happening. Uh, no, we'll just walk down, it's fine, we're good. So somewhere up here, we're probably gonna get another truck and another group is what I'm assuming. I told you it wasn't gonna be a boring night, guys. We had the drones and everybody out tonight. Oh yeah? Yes, we did. No border patrol. None over there, none over here. Wow. I'm glad you got to see this firsthand. Yeah, I tried to call you. No, I, didn't, I was I didn't get straight to voicemails. I did it? Oh, out, live. Okay. I figured you were out in the streets, and then Eric called and said you were here. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to catch up with that other group, so just bear with us for a minute. I think they had dinner planned somewhere, but they don't know where they're going. They don't know where they are, Jim. Oh, they, they, There's your open gate. Right there. Here's the open gate. Look, guys. See the open gate? Let me shine a light on it so you can see it. See the open gate? Wide open. There it is. See it? There's another open gate down there. They leave this open on purpose. The cartel pays one of these guys because the only ones that have control access to this gate Watch is the international. The international folks. I think they call them the International Waterway Commission. Yeah. Anyway, when you're close to the Mexico border like that, it's not surprising that things like that happen. I think we might have some control of the group up here. We'll see. Stick with me, guys. That's still not Border Patrol. Nope. That's El Paso. Yep. Here you go, guys. Here's our group. Right here. So these are the folks that just walked by. I'm trying to zoom in as good as I can for you. Show you what we got cooking here. So this is the second group. These are the ones that walked by us. These are the ones that ran. I'm trying to zoom in as good as I can, guys. I'm, let me trust. This is an attempt to destroy the sovereignty of your nation. These are future Democrat voters, guys. That's all it is. 
these are people that are brought in to vote. I guarantee you, the Democrats knew that these people were coming in to vote Republican. The border would have been shut down immediately. Immediately. So again, guys, we have a lot of kids in this group, and. You guys can see better now. I turn the light on. That's better focus for you. Open my we have a little girl over here. It looks like she might need help. It's the hard to say. She's just scared. She's just scared. Nobody's doing anything to her. She's just scared. But it is a sad thing for the children. I mean, the bottom line here is, is, is you don't know exactly what the kids had to go through to get here. Um, we're encouraging the monetization of children. By having our open border policy, they're advertising down south that if you have a child, if you're, you know, that's the monetization of children, guys. And this is what the governor is responsible for. This is the type of stuff that if Americans don't get together, if they don't act, the time for talking about this is over. Um, clearly, you guys can see where we're at here, okay? Um, you got no border patrol out here. This is total uh, sheriff operation um, it's uh, you know we had what a hundred people on the other side so hey you guys better be careful hey Sam you guys be careful they're gonna call you a militia <laughs> Call me later when you can. All right, tonight? Yeah, because um, I put in, an, I had to put in a formal request for the police report. Okay. So as soon as I get it tomorrow, Eric wants to talk to you. Okay. Sounds good, man. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'm we'll available figure. tomorrow. Okay. We'll figure Call something me. out. All right. We wanted to try to do it today, but... Oh, I figured I, something happened. Well, no, I just never... I, I didn't know I had to file for a police report. To get something that everybody else... Hey, and when you get that police report, I'm going to tell you guys something. I think they faked the police report that's being published. Well, that, the, the statements that one, on it. That one, that one only went out because of a federal contact. So either the Border Patrol or someone federal released it. Nobody from Sunland Park released it. Oh, they admitted that. That's what I found out today. Yeah. Oh, wow. ACLU. Fairness, fairness of what do you call that? Fairness, fairness of information well, reporting act. Yeah, but the, again, somebody Sam. federal had to release it. Can you take them back? I can huh. take them back. Okay. I can take them back. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Are you going with them? Yeah, I'm just out here for the live. All right, guys. So, as you can see, it's never a dull moment down here on the border. Um, they just, you know, like I said, it's sad because only 10% of these people will actually qualify for real asylum. Um, the kids down here, you know, there, there's trouble identifying whether the kids really belong to them. I keep stressing this because the children are a big part of this. The human trafficking, the sex trafficking, the child trafficking, and then just simply people that are coming here that are that are basically, you know, six months from now they're going to get a work permit. And then from the work permit they're going to get a tax ID number and then it's going to be a driver's license. The next step from there is becoming a voter. And so, um, you know... All I'm trying to do here, guys, is show you the truth of what's going on. And um, and you guys, thank you for sharing these videos. I know I'm a little off tonight. There's been so much going on tonight. Um, uh, the night was a little more chaotic than I thought it was going to be. Um, but uh, we're trying to do the best we can to get you the best, most accurate coverage so you can share it with your friends, share them what's going on. But I want you guys to know something. The biggest reason this is going on right now is because we have no border patrol these lights that are flashing these are not border patrol lights these are fire to fire trucks these are county uh deputies these are okay so i'm trying to tell you guys there's a need for civilians on the border so that stuff like this doesn't happen and hopefully we showed you tonight 
one of the reasons we stopped the people that were not physically detaining, but that we stopped the people for their protection, for the protection of the kids involved in this, and for the safety of the immigrants as they come in. Again, we're not racist. We, you know, we, we have compassion for everybody involved here, but the best thing they can do when they get onto these city streets and they're not from here and they don't know where they're going is to sit down, remain calm, and, um, you know, that's, that's the bottom line. So, I'll tell you what, guys. This is Jim. I'm going to go uh, reset up for the night. Um, and uh, thank you guys for sharing the videos. Thank you guys that, uh, you know, support us. Go check out the new and like our new Facebook page, Guardian Patriots. That's the name of our new group, Guardian Patriots. Um, and then also, guys, if you can make it, I know, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys watched the earlier video with me and Anthony. Uh, if you can make it, Friday, Chewy's in El Paso, we're going to meet up for a Patriot Caravan Rally. And what it's for is we're going to go to Veronica Escobar's town hall meeting at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. And we're going to head over there and we are going to let Veronica Escobar know that we are not going to let her go with her open border ide ideologies. And we're going to let her know that America's had enough. And after that, for those that come down, because we're probably going to get thrown out of the parking lot, we're going to head over for a special tour of the border. So if you come down, myself and Anthony, I will bring you to all of our locations, and you can check out the area that we're operating in. You might even see something like this going on. Um, but uh, if you haven't been to the border, if you haven't been able to experience the reality of what's happening on the border, then... This is an opportunity for you to do that. I mean, if you can't come, guys, we are going to show live videos, so please share those videos. Um, you know, we're being attacked right now, as you can see. We're being attacked by every force imaginable that doesn't want the truth of this border crisis getting out. And um, so that's why we need your guys' help. And even if you can't make it to the rally, um, even if you can do nothing else other than share these videos, um, that's the most important thing out there. Also... I will be posting a link soon uh, to those of you that want to help us out or donate. I'm going to be posting a link soon that you'll be able to do that. Um, and uh, like I said, guys, this is this is insane. And I and I think one of the things that we need to do one of these days is have a Border Patrol Appreciation Day. These guys are absolutely getting they're getting to the point where uh, the the morale is low. Um, guys are calling in sick, and uh, you have an overworked, overstressed Border Patrol. And um, there's no incentive anymore for them to do their job because our national security is exposed. Every time groups like this come through, you got the drones flying, you've got lots of open border, and that's when they're moving the, the criminals through, and, and that's when they're moving the drugs through, and that's when they're taking care of the real business, getting the people here that we really don't want here, okay? And so um, it's a national security crisis just as much as it is a border crisis, a trafficking crisis, and everything else. And so we've get now it's now it's passing over into law enforcement. Now we're getting law enforcement tied up. Um, I mean, pretty soon, uh, you know, the talking is going to be over. These people are not staying in the border cities. They they some some way or another, they find sponsors. They find people that um, that uh, can. Uh, you know, take care of them, get them to where they need to go, to the cities that their final destination is, whether that's Los Angeles or Minnesota or Massachusetts, wherever you are out there, you're going to see this. And keep in mind, guys, it's not just about closing the border. Yes, the border closing would be great, but the legals are still going to cross. They don't cross through the ports of entry. So the real thing that has to be done soon is the laws have to be changed. That's what's going to stop this. Um, but as you guys have also seen, sometimes when you tell these guys no... That, then they turn they turn against you too. As long as you say yes, they're agreeable and they'll do what you tell them to do. But if you say no, um, sometimes they do get aggressive, as you guys have heard about and seen in some of the videos. So um, let's see, am I missing anything here? Um, check out the page, Facebook page, Guardian Patriots. Um, Anthony, am I missing anything before I get off the live video? Any announcements we need to make? Uh, no, just a friendly reminder. All of you guys come out and join us Friday, 7 p.m. Chewy's Mexican Restaurant. Uh, you can get all of the information directly at uh, 
Patriot Caravan the page. So go type, go to your search bar and type in Patriot Caravan, and you'll be able to get all of the information as to what's going to be happening Friday and Saturday. We hope to see you guys out here. I know it's short notice. Many of you guys might not be in the financial situation to make it out here. For those of you that can't, please be looking out. Share those videos. Share them out to groups. Text them to your friends. And for those of you that can make it out here, I know many of you are very are very well within the means financially to come out. Take a day off. Take a day or two. Come out to the border. See what's happening firsthand and help us spread awareness come out take some pictures take some video and take it back and and show your friends back home and let's 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 stand together and bring awareness to this guys because unless we start breaking this down and showing america what's really happening and and, and exposing the united nations open migration pact it is not going to change not one single politician is talking about the open migration pact which is the root of this evil all right thanks anthony okay guys um we are going to uh, head out here for the night, get back on watch. I, I believe the bowl's not being watched right now, so we're probably going to head over there and see if there's anything going on. And uh, we are going to uh, leave this group. I think they pretty much got everything under control here. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Share the videos. Remember, if you can make it, Friday, night, Friday at 7 o'clock in Chewy's, El Paso. Rally at Veronica Escobar's. Town hall meeting, 9 o'clock in the morning, and then after that, we're going to head over to the border for a special uh, tour and uh, share the videos with your friends. Thanks, everybody. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Talk to you later.